Hi friends, it's Dr. Mimi Guarneri from Pacific Pearl, La Jolla. And I'm here today thinking about where we are right now with this coronavirus pandemic. I've been following San Diego County as well as the world very closely. And as of yesterday, we did have 242 people in San Diego County who tested positive. And what's interesting to me is our older community, people above 60 do not seem to be the rising group of people. It's actually the younger people, the 20 to 29 year olds, 30 to 39 year olds, who are the ones that are causing the numbers to rise. So I wanna thank all of my patients, many of whom fall into that older category for staying home, staying home and practicing social distancing. Now, I received a number of emails about uh, questions regarding symptoms uh, of the coronavirus. I think you by now all have heard this, but I'm just going to give you the top ones to think about. Uh, first is fever, but you don't have to have a fever, but that's a common one. Cough and throat soreness and muscle aching like we see with a classic flu. If you think you have any of these symptoms, I want you to immediately isolate yourself from the rest of your family. I want you to pick up the telephone and call to UCSD at 1-800-926-8273 and speak with someone about getting set up for triage and testing. Or you can call Scripps at 888 2618431 and again an appointment can be made for testing most importantly you need to isolate yourself uh, from the rest of your family members in some bizarre sort of way uh, this coronavirus has acted almost uh, to bring us closer together and in that closeness, I want you to pay attention to who you're listening to. Uh, do listen to the World Health Organization. Do listen to the CDC. Do listen to your physicians and your clinicians and your local public health authorities. I don't mean to be political here, but I don't want you listening to politicians. Please listen to the physicians and listen to the medical people uh, this is what we do, and we have brilliant experts like Dr. Fauci on the front line right now to give us good guidance. This virus has forced us to stop uh, doing business as usual, and in some ways that may be good. On a very positive note, uh, all of our satellites are showing for the first time much less air pollution than has ever been reported before. So not running around, not driving, uh, not being out and about is actually having, uh, in a bizarre way, a positive effect on our environment. And as a clinician, we have sort of been wor worrying and waiting for this because we've been watching the changes on our planet, whether it's storms and fires and so on, that have sort of been sending us warnings uh, about what's going on. So what can you do? Coronavirus, I nicknamed Fatso, and I nicknamed it Fatso because it's made of fat. It's a lipid-soluble virus. So that means soap and water knocks it out. And it doesn't matter what kind of soap you have. So washing your hands, soap and water, does the trick. And if you don't know how to wash your hands, <laughs> believe it or not, there's a lot of websites now that teach you how to do that. But give yourself one minute, get your knuckles, get your thumbs, get your palms, do a good hand washing. And that includes after picking up packages from the store, handling money, getting your credit card back from someone, and so on. And I'm not trying to make you paranoid, I just want to make you conscious. Uh, what we have done um, at Pacific Pearl is we've taken a proactive approach uh, with all of our patients and we are asking everyone to not only do the things the CDC recommends like social distancing and hand washing and if you happen to cough or sneeze, make sure that cough or sneeze goes into a tissue, into your uh, sleeve on your elbow and that tissue goes right into the garbage can. These, this is just practical stuff. 
uh, but we want to boost up your immune system and there's many ways to get us there. On a nutrition way, we say get on the anti-inflammatory diet. Get off the sugar, get off the simple carbs, get on the dark pigmented fruits, get on the green leafy vegetables, beans and lentils and lean protein uh, like lean fish. This is what we want you to eat, nuts and seeds. We want you to get a good night's sleep. That's really important. We want you to go out and we want you to walk out in nature and we want you to sit in the sun for 10 minutes at least. Uh, very, very important is to stay hydrated. And if you like slightly warm water or room temperature water, uh, that's what I want you to drink and I want you to drink it throughout the day. If you happen to like green tea, now's the time to drink green tea. The ECGC in green tea downregulates something called NF-kappa B. You don't need to worry about that now. Just know that green tea is really good for you. So if it doesn't give you the shakes because it has a little caffeine, get the green tea going. Warm green tea throughout the day uh, is the way to go. So. On the body side, we have food, we have getting out in the sun. I have been recommending sauna bathing, going in a hot infrared or wet dry sauna for 15 minutes a day. The sweat helps the body to detox. Lastly, we have nutraceuticals and they do work to boost the immune system. There's two categories here. There's nutraceuticals for prevention, things like our product, Viral Shield, Astralagus, Andrographis, and so on. Uh, and then there's things that can be used if someone has symptoms, whether it's viral symptoms or an early infection, uh, all of which are available to you. If you're courageous and want to come out and uh, you are a member of Pacific Pearl, uh, we'd love to have you come out for an immune boosting IV. Uh, and we are doing immune boosting IVs. I had my own IV yesterday. Uh, on the emotional side, I want you to think about uh, what boosts the immune system. We know this, bad news doesn't help the immune system. Listening to the news all day doesn't help the immune system. I want you to listen to good music. I want you to, to listen to funny movies, watch funny movies, do things you enjoy, get out the old photo albums, plan your next trip. I want you to visualize yourself healthy and life going back to normal, doing the things you love and enjoy. That's where I want your brain uh, to be working. Now, we have received an unprecedented uh, number of phone calls from people who are non-members to Pacific Pearl. Uh, we had a meeting this morning and we have decided to open up our membership to 25 new members. So if you think now is the time for you to pursue a membership with us at Pacific Pearl, please give us a call at 858-459-6919. One nine. We uh, have agreed to take 25 new members. Uh, and the, of course, you know this, the power of membership is not only having the one-on-one -on -one access to your clinician, which is a great thing to have, uh, but to me, uh, knowing I'm not out there alone. And uh, for those of you who are members, uh, I hope you give us an email or a shout and uh, let us know how you're doing. Uh, although many of you know we have been calling you and reaching out. So at the end of the day, uh, we are here. And if you have questions, please give us a call, 858-459-6919. Again, for our members, you have our emails, you have our cell phones, please don't hesitate to use them if you have any concerns. We really believe that we're going to get through this and we're going to be uh, stronger because of this. Uh, we are going to get through this and uh, we're here uh, physically and we're here virtually. Uh, I have been doing telemedicine calls all week uh, with our members, uh, whether it's re reviewing labs or deciding should I be on a nutraceutical, what should I take, uh, we're here for you. So you have a great group of specialists and uh, take advantage of it. I will be back talking to you again and I want you to go out, get some sun, have a nice walk, watch a funny movie, 
uh, and stay six feet from your neighbor. And if you have a face mask and you're going out into the community, uh, you may want to wear that. Remember to wash your hands and um, call us if you need us.